Christmas is a time of miracles, of hope, of rejoicing. And I pray that in this brief Christmas message, you will receive some rejoicing, some hope, and believe even more in our everlasting Father. The Bible says way back in Isaiah, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And then again in Isaiah, we read, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, God with us. It's at this time of every year, Christmas to New Year, I do some personal reflecting and I encourage all of us to do the same. Was I loved? And more importantly, did I love others? Did I deliver and give hope? But also, did I receive hope? There are those, particularly in the Christian world, that understand and know to deliver a smile, to deliver hope, to deliver a sense of rejoicing to others. There is so much benefit in a person's life when they know how to receive, not only to give, but to receive, to be a receiver of God's word, of God's hope, that hope that is a confident, eager expectation of good. Emmanuel, God with us. Do you receive or have you become a bit gnarly after a tough year, a tough couple of years because of a little thing called uh, COVID that has ravaged this world? The statistics of what has happened in this world are quite out there and outrageous, the trouble. And yet it is not the trouble out there as much as the trouble in here. You know what I mean. To pause a moment. To reflect upon his word. Wonderful. Counselor. Emmanuel. God with us. A season of miracles. Well, in God's kingdom, (laughs) miracles are every day, aren't they? And yet we pause. Particularly Christians who understand and know the meaning of Christmas. That we would celebrate the Christ. The anointed one. The one who would come to seek and save, who would grow, hang on a cross, and then be our soon and coming King, Jesus, our Lord Jesus. Oh, friend, I pray at this Christmas time, you might pause and receive hope, receive joy, pause and reflect as I do the lessons of this year to build into a new year. Those bricks that people have thrown at you, well, you can lay it there as a foundation to grow, to learn, and to be all you can be. Did we all make mistakes this year? Oh, yeah. Are we a little bit embarrassed about some things we may have said? Yeah. But that is just a staging point for us to do it better tomorrow to do it better into a new year. And I pray upon you and your family, God's blessing of hope, God's blessing of joy. And on a personal note, I want to thank you for all of those who have, well, subscribed, who have liked, who have watched these videos, who have commented, and I've appreciated every single one of them. I pray that you might comment to those you know, that you love them, to tell those you love that you do love them. I was talking to somebody recently and they said they don't use those words very often. I said, well, it's time you do. It's going to be okay. You know, coming into a new year, it's going to be okay. Jesus, Emmanuel, the government rests upon his shoulder, the government of heaven, the government of all authority rests upon his shoulders. And of course, we all know as Christians, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. You're safe. 
in the kingdom of God with Jesus, our soon and coming King. So may God richly bless you with all that he has for you, that you might reflect upon a baby born that would bring hope, love and joy to all of us who know him. So a very Merry Christmas. May you be safe. May you grow strong. May we all learn from the lessons of this year to grow into a new year, brighter with rejoicing. And put a smile on that dial a little more. May God bless you. And once again, a very Merry Christmas to you all.